Hey folks, checking in here from historic North River Mills, West Virginia, in scenic, beautiful Hampshire County, my home. Excited to share news about a new project that my friend Kevin Lynch and I are going to be working on here. Uh, we're going to share a bunch of lessons, tunes from mostly West Virginia fiddlers, fiddlers kind of all around the region that, uh, that I grew up in, the eastern panhandle on down through of uh, Virginia, around the Kentucky, up into Ohio and maybe even a little bit of Northwest Virginia, Pennsylvania music. Uh, and I want to go one by one, so one fiddler at a time. I'm going to do a few tunes from each fiddler, and I'm going to do the tune both on banjo and fiddle. plan is to, um, to upload maybe one a week, I think is what we're going to shoot for, one or two a week, depending on uh, what people want. And then maybe to have a, uh, a discussion at the end of the month about the fiddler and the tunes and to answer some questions and i've decided i'd like to start with melvin wine he's a fiddler that i learned learned from a little bit when i was a young guy um he was at the end of his life when i was just starting to travel outside of hampshire county so i got to play around him a good bit but i didn't really learn uh, directly from him very much but i learned a lot of his tunes from dave bing and jimmy triplett and different other people around uh, west virginia and a lot of the things that come up with his bowings have come up in classes often. And I find that it's just a good place to start learning some of what's going on in the right hand uh, in the phrasings of West Virginia fiddle music. And same with the banjo. There are some things that he's doing between the, what's the C and C sharp in the key of A that come up really often in banjo lessons that I do. So I'm going to focus on Melvin Wine first and then jump through all sorts of different fiddlers from the region. So I hope that we're uh, able to go on this journey together and learn a lot of interesting uh, fiddle music that we're not able to share in person right now. I'm always excited to teach and share what I know, and I'm hopeful that this will help and that you'll enjoy these tunes. Uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for being here with me, and I look forward to sharing this music with you.